G-Made. Uh, guys, in this video, we have got the G-Made Buffalo. This is the ready to run. If you've watched a few of my videos, you'll know exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna get it out of the box, we're gonna have a look at it, and then we're taking it out for a run. This was sent to me by G-Made. That is very kind of them. They've also, I believe they've also sent me uh, the accessories. You can get a roof rack and the LED lights and stuff. So we'll get it out and we'll have a look. Um, but it's the Buffalo, the GSO2F. Like I said, it is the ready to run. There's some specs there on it. And my experience with G-Made is good. I had the bomb, which is that one. Really surprised me uh, when I took it out. It's the first G-Made I ever had. Um, initially, when I first looked at it, I wasn't too sure what to expect, but when I took it out, wow, that thing performed so well. So we shall have a look at this one and see if this performs just as good. So in here, I expect the accessories may be. Transmitter, this is a turbo racing truck. I, I like the smaller ones of these actually. These are decent transmitters, although this is a bit bigger than the ones I'm used to. So it's gonna be a bit of a stretch to do the old one-handed. I believe these ones, not only can you adjust the steering trim and stuff, you can adjust your jaw rates. I think it's some technical thing as in turning that and pressing buttons but but there is some instructions and that will tell you how to operate this battery slot in there it'll take four four double a's in there and you know you could this is a little bit gimmicky that the top comes off but what i found with the small ones of these for some of the small scale stuff i've got uh, you can just take one handle and you just slot the different tops on between handles so this is what's this this is part of the accessories so this is the roof rack and led set oh some stickers. I don't know whether you get these um, in the actual box. Might be a gift for me. Instructions with your sticker sheet on there. Big thick instruction manual there. More stickers, hang on. Yep, more stickers, more stickers. <laughs> uh, and then some bits and pieces here. So this is ready to run. I think these are, there's some accessories in here and these are probably spares and stuff. There's also some grease and some shock oil. So I'm not 100% sure what you actually get in the retail box. Um, there seems to be a lot of stuff in there and obviously all these stickers and stuff like that. Um, I've also got the uh, steel steering guard, that's optional. And then the LED roof bar, that's optional. And then the LEDs there. I think that's it. And this is the truck. It looks like, I think the body pins are underneath. So I'm gonna take them off. We'll take the plastic off have a proper look at it so the body is on by uh two pins at the back there they slide into the back and you got two there so it comes with a decal sheet so you will need to stick your uh, stickers on as window stickers aren't uh, put on there you need to do that uh, it's nice black in it is it metallic don't think you can see on the camera but it's got a bit of a it's a metallic black that looks nice. Underneath, we've got a 540 brushed motor there. I'm not sure on the exact spec, but it's probably a 40 amp brushed ESC. It will take 2S and 3S LiPos. And you'll see a servo over here. This is the two-speed gearbox. So this one has got a two-speed gearbox. A two-speed baby! Receiver will be in there. Steering servo under there. I'll leave all the specs in the description, like the ESC rating and the servo rating and stuff. All little feature, you've got a fan mount there to mount a fan on there, keep your motor cool. You've got inner fenders, battery tray that's adjustable. That's a nice little feature as well. And it's located close to the front. So your weight distribution is gonna be decent. Then underneath, you've got four link suspension at the rear, three link at the front with a panard bar, and then metal steering links. The pumpkins on the G-Made are, um, are angled up like that. I'm not 100% sure on why, I just know it's good. <laughs> a lot of people think because I've got this big channel and I've got like hundreds of RCs, but I'm a pro. I'm just like most of you guys, I'm still learning. I don't know everything. It's got nice soft tires with foams in there. Um, they're not bead locks. Um, I was really impressed with these tires when I took the bomb out. And one thing I will say, even though it is ready to run, I don't think there's any oil in that suspension. There's some shock oil there. So I think you're gonna have to take the shocks off and put oil in them, which it's a bit of a pain, but I do find a lot of companies, when they ship stuff, they don't ship it with the oil in because it can cause issues with shipping, especially if they're leaking and stuff like that. So I understand why they do it. It's just a bit of a pain sometimes when you can't just get it out, stick a battery in and take it for a drive. But it's all part of the learning, isn't it, of the hobby. You've got a nice ball bar up front there. Um, and I think, I think that's probably it for now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the shocks off. We're going to get some oil in there. Decals on, oil in battery in. Oh, I'm gonna fit all the accessories as well. Closing in 
there we go. Body, roof rack, all sorted. Now, we have got a problem. My light bar doesn't work. Um, I've taken it apart again. I've done a voltage check of it and I've resoldered the connectors and it just will not work. I am getting voltage to it. Just can't get it to work. So Schoolboy error, guys. Schoolboy error. The light bar is 12 volts. So with a direct feed from a 3S LiPo, look how bright that is. That is awesome. It does mean though you've got to take a separate 3S LiPo. This is, you can get smaller ones than this. Um, and because it's powered directly from it, I'd also recommend taking an alarm with you. If you're on a long trail, you don't want to be draining your LiPo below uh, the low cutoff. So take a, um, take a lipo cut off with you because i don't think these leds have them built in anyway that's that sorted and while we're here this battery tray you can adjust the length of it that is such a cool feature so if i slot this battery in this is a beast of a battery by the way this is what i'm running today i'll leave a link to that in the description i've just adjusted it and now it is a perfect fit that is cool the battery tray you can also move i think you can move it to the rear and move the receiver box uh, to the side. And I think on some of the models, you can put it further forward to the front. I'm not sure you can on this one because of the two speed box. Anyway, all the lights are in, rooted them in nicely. Just a bit of Gorilla tape there, just to neaten it all up. Twin LEDs in the front. The kit only comes with the single red lights for the rear. There is, there is another space for what looks like a reverse light. That's a three mil LED rather than a five. I've put the stickers on the rear because it didn't look right without them. The light does shine through. The front's got lenses, so you don't need uh, any stickers for that. I've got this steering rod guard, but I've decided I don't want to put it on just yet. So it fits on there, but the reason I don't want to put it on is because I want to run it stock with the arms just hanging out there, just if it gets caught up and stuff like that. And if we have this on, this doesn't come stock, so I want to run it um, as it is first, uh, just to see how much clearance we've got there. That bumper might cause some problems. It overhangs quite a bit. Um, but for now, we're going to leave that off. It's a nicely made bit of kit and it's going to look good on there, but we'll run it stock. Um, I've put oil in, but it's still a little bit better. It's much better than it was. It's definitely better than it was, but it's still a little bit bouncy. I'd say maybe some softer springs on there or some lighter springs, however you want to uh, look at it, would make this a little bit better. It does seem bit bouncy the bomb was the same it's a little bit bouncy but anyway i've got a 2s in there we'll get the body on i'll switch it on i'll just show you the steering and the two-speed transmission um and then we're going to take it out over the quarry for a bit of a trail how good does that look with the lights on look really nice and bright there's the rear <laughs> i love that it's got this uh this like cb area on i'm gonna put a little flag on it i'm gonna get a little flag make a little flag up go old school like the old tamias it is a good looking truck that rack on the top looks good as well it's got some uh plenty of room in there uh, to load it up with your accessories it will make it top heavy but it'll look really cool something i did forget to mention it's got um overdrive options so the stock is overdriven you've got a 3228 you can go to no overdrive or you can go to um, overdrive 2 which is a bit more at the front and we can demo that you see i put a little bit of tape on the front and the rear now if i go slowly on the throttle you'll see that the front is traveling a bit quicker than the rear there we go, see? Front overdrive. So steering, nice and sensitive there. Relatively quick. Yeah, it's got a bit of torque there as well. Now this is first gear. And then press channel three. And now this is high gear. There we go. Uh, you can set the ESC to, at the moment it's in crawler mode, so it's got forward and then straight to reverse. The only thing I say with that is reverse is 100%, so it's quite easy. If you're just hitting the trigger, in my experience, it'd be quite easy just to hit the trigger a bit too much, and then before you know it, you've thrown yourself off the obstacle. Anyway, <laughs> so here we go then. Ready to go at the quarry. It is a lovely day. I've not been down here for a while, actually. Um, so when you restart it, it's always in second gear, so just be aware of that, that it's a bit fast. <laughs> and that's only on 2S. Do you like my flag, look? Put a flag on that, that's cool. Channel three, changing it to low range. And there you go, there's your slow control. As you can see there, you've got some nice modulation. Nice and quiet, very quiet. Lights looking really good. So suspension, like I mentioned, I'd like it to be a bit softer. The springs, I think, are a bit, uh, a bit hard, but 
Whether that'll make a massive difference on the trail, I don't know. We shall find out. Oh, it's going to be a bit of an awkward one here. Let's go up there, I think. Can we get up there? Whoa. <laughs> Let's get out of there. So, like I said, be careful with reverse because it does come on quite strong. Wow. So that bumper, I think I mentioned, didn't I? I mentioned the bumper might be a bit of a hindrance. It's certainly uh, giving it a bit of trouble here. Definitely uh, bumper is not ideal, although a bit more aggression. And we'll get over there. Oh, <laughs> oh there we go. There we go, nice. Oh, it looks good, doesn't it? Black doesn't show up very well on camera, but it looks really nice, murdered out. Yeah, there's that uh, bumper again, causing me a few issues. Come on, nice grip on the tyres. So you can see it is a bit bouncy. You can hear it sort of bouncing around a bit. Sorting them shocks out would be uh, what would sort that up. Oh, it's loose there, isn't it? Loose gravel or loose stones. Bit of speed. There we go. Always a bit wary of standing around here. <laughs> Test that drag brake out. This is a quite a steep angle. I don't know how well it's showing on the camera, but. Let's find a good line up there. Oh, this could fall actually. <laughs> That's steeper than I thought. So let's just try the jag brake. Oh, we done it. Nearly. This is nice, I like it. Do you class it as ready to run? It took me a little while to get all the bits and pieces done, get the decals on, um, get them shocks tuned, then I had to wire the light. I suppose you don't get the lights, do you, on the ready to run? So yeah, I'd say it's not too bad. Shock tuning, it tells you in the instructions how to do it. So if you've not done it before, it's worth, uh, it's something, it's a good skill to learn. Plenty of YouTube videos on that. I'm going to leave a link to this in the description and where you can buy them. I'm also going to leave a link to the G-Made website um, for this because there's so much technical stuff on this. Too much really for me to talk about. Um, a lot of thought has gone into these G-Made trucks. It's not just been slapped together. Lots of thoughts gone in. There's some nice techno babble on that website. Anyway, I like it. It is good. I can't remember what price it is. I think it's quite priced quite high. But in the grand scheme of things for crawlers, is it priced too high? What are you getting, a two-speed box in there, you're getting scale looks. It's certainly something I'd recommend. The bomb is really good as well. And this, just as good, apart from that bumper at the front. Oh, nice. This is what crawling is all about, especially in this weather. Getting some fresh air with your mates or on your own and having fun. Oh, this looks good, doesn't it? Well, it does to me. Looks really good. Let's go a bit of second gear, shall we? Loads of speed. So that's 2S. 3S would probably be a bit crazy. I haven't got my wellies today, so we're not going right over there, but I think we could probably go down there. Somewhere I can reach if it gets stuck, because uh, <laughs> this could go wrong. I don't know how soft this is. Oh, it doesn't look bad actually. Not too bad. This would be a good bit for some slow-mo.
Anyway guys, that's it for this video. That is the GMA Buffalo. Let me know what you think. I like it. I know I've not given it a full test today, but I think this thing is going to be pretty capable and it's certainly something I would recommend. Stick it on your wish list. If you're considering a one temp scale crawler, uh, this is certainly one to consider. Anyway, cheers for watching. I'm going to see if I can find a bit of mud and go and have a play. I'll see you next time. Met him on a sunny day in late July and everything turned upside down. I almost lost track of time as weeks went by. I couldn't get him off my mind. I told him I want that great love, like standing in the middle of a bonfire. You don't know how you got there, but you hold tight, knowing that you can't get burned. Just tell me how we lost track of everything but each other. I honestly don't know. Tell me how we messed up, drifting away from each other. Didn't